All righty, folks. Hello and welcome to Alan Wake 2. This is the sequel to the 13-year-old Alan Wake uh, and also a sequel to the 2019 game Control. Um, I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. I'm really excited to play it. We've tested settings. We've we've gone through and and uh, done the necessary tweaks to get it running at a, a proper frame rate and to disable achievement notifications, which is an annoying thing that this game does. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just start a new game and uh, and get going. I'm playing hard mode. to the beginning we all come to a story with hopes and expectations looking for an answer sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. So spooky. Oh, man. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. Symmetrically mirroring faces. This story will eat us alive. It's so terrifying. This Just story inherently. Is a monster. This story is a monster. That's horrifying. And monsters wear many faces. <laughs> so this game has a nudity sensor toggle and uh if you don't have it toggled this guy's butt naked he hangs dong well, that's for you audience you can find that by purchasing the game on your own The atmosphere is so good. I'm I'm glad that the game has the audacity to be dark. I mean, visually speaking, like a lot of horror games just won't. We're not playing in HDR uh, for recording purposes to avoid some of the issues we had in the past, but damn, Alan, what what went wrong? <laughs> wander up here I guess spooky forest that looks like Jack Rabbit's palace from uh, Twin Peaks season 3 if you've played Alan Wake 1 you know it's very heavily inspired by Twin Peaks spooky monsters we hobble over here we can't how legible is this stuff mortar falls oh yeah we could read that uh if i was closer to my screen and could see <laughs> it is dark but it is legible oh 
Oh, ha! Ah. Who just tried to shoot me? That was interesting. Cult of the word. Cult of the the tree. There are two things I can think of that that might relate to. That's a cool title drop. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just... Work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Oh, the dialogue's so both. good. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. Casey. I will. Bye, kiddo. Sam Lake. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. So I think that's Alex Casey, uh, which is a character from a book we are. series Cauldron Lake. Oh. that Alan Wake himself wrote Time in the first game. So Alex Casey is a detective who's supposed to be kind of a stand-in for Max Payne. Uh, coincidentally, Sam Lake, the writer of this game and the creative director at Remedy, a is... A was supposed to be here Ooh. to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Ooh. So, as I was saying, um, Sam Lake is the creative director at Remedy. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. In the writer of these games, he was the face model for the first Alan Wake. Or not Alan Wake. Uh, Max Payne. And then when he made Alan Wake... Uh, Alan Wake was a writer whose stories came to rea came to life, but the novels that he wrote that got him famous were th about these stories about this detective, uh, this like private eye kind of character named Alex Casey. They're like crime fiction. So to see Alex here, Alex Casey, who is obviously a knockoff of Max Payne, 
played by the writer of this game, the creative director of the studio that made this game, and the face model of uh, Max Payne. And I believe his voice actor is also the voice actor for Max Payne, who was the voice actor for the uh, previous director uh, in Control. All come together to play this character. That's interesting. That's really neat. And it, it sets up this idea that maybe Alan is uh, organizing this. Like he's trying to write himself out of the events of the first game that he got trapped in, in American Nightmare in the first game, by making his character come to life and writing a story where his character comes to save him. That's cool. I like the synchronized coffee drinking. It's cool to watch a game that's like well directed because games so often aren't. This is not the way. Hmm. Oop. All right, what's this say? I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Mirror Peak. Is that supposed to be Twin Peaks? <laughs> Bright Falls is basically Twin Peaks, so uh, that's interesting. And then Mortar Falls. The powerful feet of nature uh, will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of this of the falls resemble mortar and pestle, quite like the Witch of Cauldron Lake Uh, have pulled to travel through the night sky. Something, something. You can't read all of it. All right, what does this one say? <clears throat> the mighty mountains in the distance are no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty infected on the calm surface. It is reflect will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. Kind of cool man look at this lighting it's so good looking hey over here hey there agent casey right sheriff raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case you're half right anderson no <laughs> he calls for me that's cool Whoa, dialogue options. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh... <laughs> Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. So look at the, the sign back there. It says, this location is close to the public by the order of the FBC. The FBC is the Federal Bureau of Control. And we learned at the end of Control at the end of the Alan Wake DLC, the AWE uh, uh, pack, that there is a FBC listening post 
at Cauldron Lake, and that there were multiple altered world events that occurred here, uh, but the biggest of which was Alan Wake, uh, the Alan Wake event itself. Uh, so it's clear that the FBC has some presence here. I wonder how much of the FBC we're going to see in this game, because I would love to see them come back. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Well, I'm looking. Tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Hmm. You can ask, access the case board inside the mind place? Is that supposed to be palace or place? The mind place. Nope, place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. The facts Very Hannibal. Board. I want to look at her mind place first. <clears throat> oh my God, this is so moody. I love this. That must be Logan. I can't tell if that's her husband or if that's supposed to be Alex Casey, her her, you know, partner, uh, her her FBI partner. Can't go in there. What is that? Is there a picture of just a tree there and a boat? With, with Remedy games, you just have to expect that, like, all of this stuff is going to be relevant at some point. Uh, let's really quickly go into the options menu. Huh? Yeah, this looks fine. I'm not worried about this, really. I just want to make sure we're not losing detail. We don't want it that high. Yeah, 50 is fine. Okay. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Hmm. Case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Oh my god, are we going to do actual investigation in this game? That would be sick. Hmm. Oh, enter to continue. Cauldron Lake Murders. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> the Cauldron Lake Murders. I can zoom. Bony Legged Path, Rental Cabins, Parking Lot, Murder Site, Witch's Ladle, Witch Finder Station. That's probably the FBC station, the listening post. All victims reported missing in 2010. That's when Alan Wake 1 came out. That's the, the, the time of the, uh, the Alan Wake Altered World event. All right. Ted Lane, dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake 2018. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound, some organs missing, predation, state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. <clears throat> Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death, tattooing on the body is illegible. So yeah, this would definitely be an FBI investigation because it's a pattern. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commodity in bodies. Commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Uh, exposure to water post-mortem. 
bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. That's what we saw in the opening cutscene. Most re recent victim died of major chest trauma, consistent with 2018 victim, hard to confirm due to condition of body, deep cash in chest, heart missing. All bodies experienced bloating. Indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in the water. Victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos, a message from the killer, or maybe their art. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. What? Are you cracking it? We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. The mind plays does not pause the game? Fucking nature. It gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. You so much retiring? writing. You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. <clears throat> Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Ram uh, Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been, uh, oops. One of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be a bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right. In the grand scheme of life, those dead, depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proven to, incredibly, to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. So get out there and just do it. Don't forget to flashlight in case it gets dark. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Miss Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as her owner refers to him, has been missing for three days, and Miss Smith was afraid that uh, she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming at least seven or eight times? It was actually nine times, confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kinds of calls, and I feel grateful to have had the opportunity. But with all the predators... Uh, out there usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead or their cats eaten you know so it felt good to give some good news even if coffee bean is in kind of rough shape the fur will grow back sure but well i suppose that's all i should say about that bright falls own virtual baking champ little sally upton's whole family erupted in cheers when she won the big match this weekend was she playing soccer tennis no in this brave new world uh that we live in her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway the game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates, congratulates Sally on her big win. An esports baking game? Competitive cooking mama? Imagine getting an article in the newspaper about that. Y'all, I just beat PSP Maria mode in Symphony of the Night. Where's my article? Starting fires prohibited. Please do not feed the wildlife. Leave no trace. Oh man. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not. Whoa. <laughs> huh? The mighty mountain in the distance. Blah blah. We've already read this. It's kind of cool. up here Aldrin Lake campgrounds 
I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. What is this? Did this just loop back to where he was? It looks like. It all says, I think those things are called Eyes of God. That would check out. We are dealing with a spooky cult. This is actually doing a really good job of, of uh, capturing what the PNW actually looks like. Come on, Saga. Time to get back to work. This is very much like Snoqualmie and Snoqualmie Falls, uh, which is kind of where Twin Peaks is based, North Bend area. This is what it looks like out there. I used to hike there all the time. Yep, we've already read that. It's not an exact replica or anything like that, but it does look like this. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. <laughs> Getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. A phone booth out here. The witch's hut. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Imagine just walking into that. Ugh. Like the idea of getting my feet wet is repulsive. I would never. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Which is hot. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Spooky. That's how they keep kids from going into, uh, into historic lodges. Games looks so good. This game is visually just unreal. Just absolutely fantastic looking video game. There's so many paths too, I'm really shocked. What is this? Friday. Uh, Midge told me that today her family uh, is moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city. Guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I want to go back there tomorrow with better gear. But I can find some way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. <clears throat> All right. Nothing in there. Got a little... What is this? Just like a camping blind, basically. Interesting. Midge, huh? Down here. 
Interesting that there's light fixtures out here. Oh my god. Oh, this is the witch's ladle. Okay. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mystery, mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. Legend tells that when the uh, affections of the local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her, her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. She was not a witch before she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. Sage says, mid sounds like uh, more of a northerner name to me. Yeah, it is. It's very, it's a very Upper West Side New York name. Oh, this is the tree we walked through, right? This is Jack Rabbit's palace tree. Interesting. So it's closed now. Did it open up for us? So that must be Witch's Ladle. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I see. Understand. Holy smokes, this game is cool. We've been playing for a half hour and nothing has happened yet, which is just the greatest thing. <laughs> I just, I love it so much. It's setting, it's taking its time to create a mood. Gil says, I'm kind of confused, so she was a witch all along? No, she became a witch after she was killed, and then her spirit came back and Deputy cursed Thornton, them. I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. I, I knew where it was, buddy. Good I saw it. In one piece, Anderson. The forest can be a dangerous place. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Scoping out the local environment. Making sure there's nothing up here that I'm, I'm gonna miss. Is that a kid's hey. lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Okay. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. But if you're having a good day, ignore the whole thing. Manuscript fragments. Oh, we know what that means. Weapon upgrade. Is this just because I, I bought the game? <laughs> what is this? Oh, another headshot. Yeah, I want that. So we need, oh, we spend manuscript fragments on these. Interesting. Okay. Can I close it? I wanted to see the, the thing. Oh, well. Okay. Well, hey, exploring up here was worth it. <laughs> Kettle says Saga can theory craft weapons in her mind. Matt Pat, the unstoppable theory crafting weapons to beat his opponents. Did you get lost, Anderson? No. Yes, we are. Oh, we can collect evidence. The sound design here is incredible. The fact that I can hear them outside, but it's muffled. And it fades in and out based on like where I am in the store 
in relation to like where my my uh huh you and I interesting uh in relation to where their their audio is actually coming from that's crazy one day some suspicious activity spotted the fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes footprints around the area were found but some were compromised by the fielder so train the fielder uh, nothing to report. Some animals regular. Hunters out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Can't get through there. Huh. Fascinating. Oh, man. You think her arm would get tired holding the flashlight up like that? Mine would. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Yes, it does, because he's bloated and he's been strapped down. Step one, examine the corpse. Step one, wander around and look for collectibles I that I might miss. For a minute. You know where to find me. Hmm. Start by inspecting the body, Anderson. Yeah, Federal Bureau of Control. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Yes or no? Nice talking huh. to you, too. I wonder if that was the board responding. Triangle figures made from twigs. Confused, follow the steps. Wash your hands, take a chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Let's get back to work over here, can we? A creepy no. twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Wow. Look at that CRT. <gasps> That's a symbol from Control as well. Okay. Okay, I'm beginning to see things come together now. I'm understanding what's happening. Even the creases in the window. It's not the same. Marco Vargas. Interesting. All right. Wash your hands. So that's up and down. Then down and up. Take one out of the fridge. Then go to sleep side to side. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. What if it's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not form, it's formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. The people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. 
First drawing, water line, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Oh, I see. It's it's just the 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 drawings over here. Strange machines. Interesting. So uh so the code is up, down, down, up, left, right. we go I did it oh my god we have an inventory system don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees weird all right well that paid off noodling around over there what's over this way this is wild this is a wild experience so far. It's insane how open this is. <laughs> Another Alex Casey thing, cold case. How do you like the knitting hero? I had it made just for you. That's mysterious. UFOs, the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. I'm writing this down in case it happens again and I forget. Got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my AMA on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would, and didn't. Not this time. Frustrated but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the after image of an octahedron. It faded fast. Oh my god, this game is already doing cool stuff. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to uh, Bright Falls. Is this going to be Alan Wake's wife? Because she's a, uh, hey, she's Casey. an agent. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if I remember correctly, Alan Wake's wife is a member of the Bureau. She's an agent for the Federal Bureau of Control. So I wonder if that's her. It would explain why she knows uh, about the octahedron and why she would be looking for it. <clears throat> Alright, I think I explored everything. We should be ready Welcome to just back, examine this body Anderson. soon.